Hello, I'm Harlan. Now remember this. God will supply all your needs, but he will not supply the lust of your flesh. This world today is built up for the flesh. You have very few Holy Ghost people, so you have to fight. Now notice the foods like Paul and Peter and them would eat, very primitive, very uh, natural. They would have corn in a field or they'd eat uh, fish from the sea and they would eat healthy food. And remember, don't let your body be a trash can. <clears throat> Learn to live by the Holy Ghost. Your body is the temple of God. Don't fill it with junk. <clears throat> now can you see Peter, Paul and them going into McDonald's, getting a Big Mac? That's simply for the flesh. That stuff is addictive. Food is as much a drug as morphine. The drunkard, you see, most all these drinks that they make are addictive. So do not, learn to fight, watch and pray and become skilled. Be wise as a serpent. Don't be a drunkard. And how many fat people do you see? Oh, Lord. And you can't let your belly be your God. Your belly is not your God. Don't let your body be a garbage can. So learn to think. And, and this is what young people do today. They lay around and sleep all day and play video games all night. They become just a sluggard. They're lazy and worthless. They're freeloaders, just complete freeloaders. Now, if you're going to have sex, get married. Suffer like all of us because you need to do it like God says. Nothing outside of the realm of the Holy Ghost. And be joined together by the one that God puts you with. Now, sex is a need, so God will supply all your needs, but he will not supply the lust of your flesh. So do not live after the flesh. And you've heard it's better to marry than to burn. So get married and do it the way God says. Live under the ordinances of God. And this is the only way to live. In this world today, there are so many devices for the flesh. Oh, Watch this and learn. Learn that you must crucify the flesh. You must mortify the deeds of the body. Mortify the deeds of the body. Now, sleep, sex, and food is a need. God will give a laboring man sleep. I used to work hard, and I'd come in, and the minute I, my head hit the pillow, I went to sleep, and I didn't get up till the alarm clock went off. So rich people, they can't sleep. They're worried about their money. Don't live after money. Money is the root of all evil. And don't give a little child Pepsi-Cola and Coca-Cola. They're addictive. Once a child tastes of a Coca-Cola or a Pepsi-Cola or a Dr. Pepper or something, they want them all the rest of their life. It's addictive. It's like cigarettes. It's addictive. All these foods are addictive. They, they put stuff in them that makes them addictive. Think of yourself as a prisoner of the Lord. This world is an enemy to Holy Ghost people. Now, Think about Apostle Paul. He had will over his flesh, mostly. Some people have will over their flesh, and that's good. But a prisoner, all he gets is a little something to eat and some clothing, place to sleep. That's all you want, just some uh, beans and rice or something to eat. Don't be a glutton. Don't make a party out of everything you do. They have parties for big sports uh, arenas, you know, and they'll have parties for... Uh, Everything's a party. They have food at parties and drinks. Do not <clears throat> go for your wants and your lust. Go for your needs. And so, as you walk up and down the streets in America, everything is built for the flesh. So us Holy Ghost people have to fight extra hard. Now, <clears throat> this is a, a thing that people hide. They, they'll be addicted to gambling. And before you know it, your mother and daddy and <clears throat> all your people are broke. Because they've been to Vegas or they've been playing the lottery or something. They're always pulling a one-armed bandit. That thing, you don't need that. Think about the things your body really needs. What drink did God make? <coughs> he made water. So, drink some water. And don't live on video games and things. <coughs> Be natural. Eat an apple off a tree. Eat something natural. Eat some fish. But don't sit around all day and play video games. Kids do that today, and they're wasting their life. They're becoming gluttons and all kinds of 
of fleshly people. They're freeloaders. Now remember a need. Think about this. I want you to think. What do I need? I need food and clothing, a place to sleep. You don't need a whole lot of other things. Learn to crucify the flesh. Mortify the deeds of the body. Don't let your body become a garbage can. Drugs, people that take cigarettes, alcohol, and prescription drugs, you know they're more deadly than any, and they take more prescription drugs than they do anything else now. They will drag you down. <clears throat> Before you know it, you'll be like Elvis. Old Elvis would do, do uppers to get up and do his stage show. And then he'd take down her so he could sleep. So pretty soon he's dead at 44 years old. So don't drink beer and whiskey and stuff. That's man-made for the flesh. Don't live after your flesh. It's hard, hard, hard on Holy Ghost people today. Because you can fast a few days, and you know what people will do? Try it. They'll bring you your favorite chocolate cake. They'll bring you apple pie. They'll give you anything in the world that's saturated with sugar and all kinds of evil stuff because they want you in the flesh. They want you to be like them. Now, do not let the things of the flesh uh, addict you. Do not be addicted to this. Don't let your body be a garbage can. God will supply your needs. You take a little children in and let them eat some of these French fries. That's got they put a, they put drugs in these foods, and they'll drug you, and your kids will be craving. They'll cry to go to McDonald's and them kind of places. Can you see Peter and Paul and them eating junk like this? This is horrible. This is sin. See people sins and don't know it. You don't need to go to movies. You don't need to go to concerts. You don't need to be with sinful people. Don't go to the movies. You can catch a disease just sitting in there with all them sinners. And all the movies, what are they about? The flesh. They incite the sexual side of you or to get drunk or to party and get out of the, of the flesh and in the spirit. Popcorn had that old uh, coconut oil in it. Man, that stuff. You, you eat a, a popcorn and some almond joys and drink some cherry cokes and something, and it just ruins you. Now, here's a typical American. No motivation by the spirit. They don't fight against their flesh. They, they love the flesh. They love to get drunk. They love to watch TV. They love to go to movies. They love to eat out. They love to go out on their motorcycles and all and smoke a, a joint. Smoking will kill you. I've seen people die real young from smoking cigarettes. So get that out of your body. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. God don't want you smoking that stuff. I never did smoke. God wouldn't let me smoke when I was little. He was going to use me. If God's going to use you, He won't let you get addicted to caffeine or to nicotine, to booze and stuff. So say no to all these things. Don't do it. Don't let your body be a garbage can. God will supply your needs, but He will not supply your lust. When you look at people today, you can tell they're living after the flesh. People want to be entertained all the time now. They go to big... Uh, sporting events, basketball, football, golf, tennis, and and everything that they they can, and then they're with sinners. Do not fellowship sinners. People who talks about the flesh all the time are sinners. Their 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 body is permeated with flesh. All they want is flesh, flesh, flesh. Stay away from them. It's fun for a while, but it will kill you. And please do not fellowship Bible worshippers. They talk about the Bible all the time like the Bible saved them. See, the blood of Jesus didn't save them. They got saved by a book they're deceived. And all music, I don't care if it's religious music, points you to the flesh. They talk about they're going to walk on streets of gold. That don't praise God. That's praising the flesh. So all concerts and everything is just for the flesh. Stimulates the flesh. Now remember this. Your body is like a dog. All a dog does is want flesh. It's not meant to give the children's bread to a dog. Keep your flesh on a leash. Do not let the flesh off the leash. Learn to have will over your own body. You're a dog. Your flesh is your worst enemy. Don't let your body become a garbage can. And do not ask God to fulfill the lust of your flesh. He won't do it. You must learn the difference between what is godly and what is not. Now, I've told you many, many things, and there's many, many other things. Going to grandma's house for a supper is an evil thing. They're getting you in the flesh. See, you've got to have this calling of God on you and not let your belly be your guide. You cannot let the body, the flesh, have power over you. 
Jesus said, I'll give you power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you. Now, don't give no excuses to the flesh. Oh, I was so hungry and all they had was chocolate pie. Well, don't eat it. Jesus fasted 40 days. You can go there too. So eat things that God gives you.